have met there the Minister, for Edu the Minister of Education and the State Minister for Skills and Entrepreneurship. I visited uh, Indian universities, discussed with STEM and research, women STEM students and uh, research students there that are financed through Erasmus and Horizon. The discussion was about increasing the number of mobilities. So now we are looking at, in certain cases, about a couple of thousand, let's say, that we support through EU funding. And the idea was to, to enlarge, much enlarge the scope of the funding of mobilities of both faculty and students. Uh, reciprocal, so from India to the EU, from the EU to the European, uh, from the EU to India. We have discussed other topics as well, such as the fact that India is undergoing an important reform of their university infrastructure. Um, they have a huge young population that uh, is, uh, let's say, eligible to, to, uh, for, for university, for higher education, but they do not have enough infrastructure available, faculty available. They are investing in it, but they also invited European universities to open campuses in India uh, and to, to invest in, in, in their uh, infrastructure. We discussed joint degrees. We discussed the project that is ongoing, led by European International uh, Labour Organization, on the a mutual understanding of the skills uh, of the qualification reference framework, because it's, as it means, or the defi definition of skills in India and the European Union, so that we might at some point uh, reach mutual recognition uh, uh, as uh, it would be very useful. But it is the beginning of the work. So it was the first time that the commissioner in charge for education and skills met the counterpart in the Indian government. Uh, we decided that we will work closely together also in view of the uh, strategic agenda and the summit, uh, India-EU summit at the end of this year. I will tell you there was no minister, no college uh, member that uh, did not mention the need to invest uh, and to have a stronger partnership in skills. So absolutely work uh, on that will continue, but it was just a first, let's say, uh, discussion and the first uh, official engagement on that topic. Uh, I would like to thank very much, uh, Executive Vice President, for being here with us, and I will invite you to stay. Those of you interest, interested in the next uh, part, which will be with Commissioner Titi Costas, who will be here to present uh, the roadmap uh, on the automotive industry, which was also adopted today in, in the college. So don't go far. My colleague, Anna Kaiser, will be chairing uh, the next uh, uh, session. Thank you and wish you a good afternoon.